OK, so let's say I've got a curve and it looks like this. OK, well, as I'm moving along the curve, OK, so at this point, for example, over here, I would say that the tangent lines that I draw will have positive gradient. And so what I can say is that the curve is increasing at this point. OK, and then what happens is that as I move along, and I get to this point here, well, that's the turning point, isn't it? OK, because after that point, I start to have negative gradients, and so my curve is decreasing. So something is happening at that point where I'm going from having a positive gradient to a negative gradient. And likewise, as I move down here, I've got negative gradient, negative, 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 and then I get a... Uh, a gradient of, well, zero, OK? There's this turning point. And then I keep going, and I'm back to positive again. So we have these points on the curve, OK, where the curve is increasing, OK? And it was increasing here, wasn't it? And it's decreasing here between those two points, OK? And there's something significant going on at those points there, OK? These points are called stationary points. OK, so this one is a stationary point as well. OK, so it's like, excuse the terrible analogy, right? It's like if this was a hill and you wanted to park your car where it wouldn't roll down the hill, OK? So you've got the handbrake off, OK? The car can move wherever. Where are the two points on this curve that you could park it and it wouldn't move an inch? Well, you'd have to park it precisely at the top of that hill there, and you'd have to park your car precisely at the bottom of that hill there, OK? Because if you park it right on the top there, OK, not an inch either side, it will stay where it is. And down here, if you'd moved, if you parked it a little bit up the hill, it will roll back down, OK? And eventually come to stand right there. So these are what are referred to as stationary points, where the car is stationary, OK? So what does this mean for us? Well, if the gradient of the curve, where it's increasing, is where the gradient is positive, that means that dy by dx is positive in these regions. So if you want to determine where the gradient of a curve was positive, you could put it greater than zero and then solve that inequality. So for decreasing, this is where dy by dx is less than zero, where it is negative, okay, where the gradient of the tangent is negative. And so you've got um, these final points, these stationary points, just searching for another coloured pen. Here we go. Let's go with green. And that's where the dy by dx has gone from being negative to positive, and so there must be this point where the gradient is zero. So if you could solve the equation of dy by dx is equal to zero, you could find where the curve has its stationary points, where its turning points are, OK? So that is going to be incredibly important for us, to find those stationary points, to find where the curve is changing direction, effectively, OK? So where um, the curve's gradient is zero.